That's where the bounce of the drums came from. So you know, I started with the drums and and and, and I just remember feeling myself. You know what I'm saying? I was just in there banging out a couple drums and and to me that's the most important because my brand name is Drum Dummies. You know, every day I'm constantly working on making my drum sound so crazy and so weird. I use all kind of plugins just to bring different elements. And different, different sounds to my drums, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, after that, I got the track kind of bouncing and, and arrangement, you know, that's a whole different story. You can make a whole beat, you know what I'm saying? You can have it laid out, and if you arrange it wrong, you got a whole fucked up project, you get what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I had to really arrange that beat. You know, I sat on the record like maybe two or three months, you know what I mean? Like, like, um, I just remember I I was trying to do a project to it and I could never think of nothing, you know, that I really wanted to actually keep. So, um, I might have sat on the record and, you know, I remember me and Big Gank, you know, we, we never got a chance to actually link up. I linked up with everybody else from around my area so you know once we finally linked up once we finally linked up we chopped it up on facebook for a minute and you know i sent him two or three tracks and out of those two or three he chose the purple dreams record and uh you know he sent me a snippet back asap you know what i mean he sent me one back asap and from there you know him and Lil Pooh got together on it they came back to my lab and, and they just dropped the track, you know what I mean? They, they dropped it from there, you know? So the rest was history. And, and that shit kind of took off. And now I'm so versatile. My mama told me I was a walking man. Now I'm a million now. Now they looking at a young nigga like what I tell you. What I tell you. Tell the woman this. They said to 